Last month, Anthropic made waves in the AI world by launching Claude 3.5 Sonnet, their most advanced model to date. This release brings improved vision capabilities and a groundbreaking new feature we'll explore shortly. But first, let's recap Claude's journey for newcomers. Claude AI debuted in 2023, developed by Anthropic, an AI safety and research company. Founded by former OpenAI employees, Anthropic's mission revolves around creating safer, more steerable AI systems. From the start, they placed a strong emphasis on ethical considerations and safety in AI development. At launch, Claude AI was designed as a powerful, general-purpose language model with abilities that have since become standard in the AI industry. As these capabilities become became the norm, leading AI models like OpenAI GPT-4 pushed the boundaries further. OpenAI constant improvements, including developing models to detect flaws in their other models' codebase, seem to position them as the frontrunner in the AI race. However, Anthropic has just shifted the playing field. Let's take a quick dive into the realm of Claude. The Claude family consists of three models, HiQ, Sonnet, and Opus, Opus being their most advanced model in the Claude V3 family. But just last month, Anthropic launched Claude 3.5 Sonnet, which outperforms competitor models like OpenAI latest GPT-40 and even Claude 3 Opus on a wide range of evaluations. According to their official news release, Claude 3.5 Sonnet sets new industry benchmarks for graduate-level reasoning, undergraduate-level knowledge and coding proficiency. It shows marked improvement in grasping nuance, humor, and complex instructions and is exceptional at writing high-quality content with a natural, relatable tone. Claude 3.5 Sonnet is our strongest vision model yet, surpassing Claude 3 Opus on standard vision benchmarks. These step change improvements are most noticeable for tasks that require visual reasoning, like interpreting charts and graphs. Claude 3.5 Sonnet can also accurately transcribe text from imperfect images, a core capability for retail, logistics, and financial services, where AI may glean more insights from an image, graphic, or illustration than from text alone. Artifacts is a new feature that expands how users can interact with Claude. When a user asks Claude to generate content like code snippets, text documents, or website designs, these artifacts appear in a dedicated window alongside their conversation. This creates a dynamic workspace where they can see, edit, and build upon Claude's creations in real time, seamlessly integrating AI-generated content into their projects and workflows.
I found this new feature fascinating, so I decided to experiment with it. Although it's still in the experimental stages, you can enable it by clicking on your profile, going to Feature Preview, and enabling Artifacts. I started with the prompt, Design a simple, modern crypto exchange platform. The results were impressive, even suggesting some improvements for the design. It's really cool. Keep in mind that this feature is still in its early stages, so occasional minor errors may occur. You can also prompt Claude to make some modifications to any part of the design if you didn't like it or if you just want another version. Claude will regenerate the codes and apply the specified modifications. Looks like someone forgot they were designing. This is looking great. Even though the logic for the prices and data uses simulated values, rather than API calls to retrieve the actual values and data, I still think this is a pretty good design and can be used as a starting point. While exploring different prompts, I discovered that you can also generate diagrams. I asked Claude to design a sequence and entity relationship diagram for a hospital system, and it generated both diagrams very well. Ultimately, these improvements mark a significant step towards the development and advancement of AI and in their primary goal of developing a safer and more steerable AI. At this point, none of us can really do anything about these advancements, all we can do is sit and watch and maybe make videos about it, like I'm doing now. In any case, let's hope AI doesn't become so intelligent that it sees no need for humanity again and tries to exterminate us all. But that will be a story for another day. Thanks for for watching and I'll see you next time with another awesome video.